All right, hello everyone. This is Adam Thomas with Art Design Labs. And today I'm gonna to show you probably one of the most useful tools that gives you the biggest headache. Um, all the time sitting in studio for new Revit users, I get asked, why can't I put a door in a curtain wall? It's a really simple answer actually. Um, it's one step that gets missed all the time. And I'm gonna show you First of all, why you can't just put a door in it, and then secondly, how to put a door, so hopefully no more headaches. So it's what I'm going to do to start out with. I'm going to put a basic wall, just a generic 8-inch wall. And then right beside that, I'm going to show you the three types of glass walls. You have curtain wall one, you have exterior glazing, and you have the most commonly used one, which is storefront. All right, so if we check those out in 3D, we see that basic wall is a basic wall. It's eight inches thick, okay? Curtain wall one is just simply a piece of glass. That's just a piece of glass. You put in all the mullion lines, all the divisions of the glass. Next is exterior glazing. Exterior glazing gives you mullion lines you can actually adjust. Um, and then the last one storefront. It's already come preset with mullions, preset with dimensions, preset with parameters that you have to obey. Um, you can add in more mullions, you can edit them later, but if you're going to edit mullions, you might as well start with an exterior glazing. And if you need free form, don't waste your time with exterior glazing, go straight to curtain wall one and start drawing your mullions in. Okay, so if I go back to level one, I'm going to show you that if you hadn't figured it out yet, um, if I try to place a door, a regular single flush door, I can place it into the basic wall. Basic wall is on the left. But anytime I highlight over the three types of glass walls or curtain walls, I can't put the door in. So why is this? I'm going to show you the simple way to put it in. It's just overlook constantly. Alright, so I'm going to zoom in on storefront. If you go in the storefront and you highlight around where you want to put the door. So I want to put the door in this panel. I'm actually going to put a door in this panel and this panel. So you can see that the closer you get and start wiggling your mouse around, you can actually highlight individual elements. So let's get to how to put it in. So to put it in, we're going to keep tabbing. We're going to highlight over this mullion and we're going to hit tab a couple of times. All right, so it cycled through, it went to the mullion line, it went to the other mullion, and it went to the panel. So to be able to put a door into the panel, we just simply have to select the panel and click unpin. It was pinned because that object can't be changed. So we need to change that object. So if you hadn't already done it, you can load in a curtain wall single glass door. If you don't know how to do that, I'll run through it real quick. You can go home, door, um, load family, go to doors, curtain wall, single glass. Now you may be wondering if you can put a door that's not curtain wall into a curtain wall and the answer is no. Um, you have to get into some family editing. Um, most of the time, not really worth it for a studio environment. Um, so curtain wall, single glass. All right, so that's already loaded. So now so what we're going to do is select the panel we were just in. There's the panel. Okay, there's the panel. It's still in pen. So all I'm going to do is go to the drop down box, change element type, and I'm going to say curtain wall single glass. And voila, puts it in. So just one more time, I'm going to go to the panel right next to it, and I'm going to tab through. If I get to the panel, you see when it's pinned, you cannot change the element type. As soon as we unpin it, we're allowed to change the element type. So curtain wall, single glass. All right, so you may notice that the bottom still has the mullions in the way. So we're going to go ahead and delete those mullions. You delete them by unpinning them, just like you would anything else. Now you can hit delete. The unpin is allowing you to edit anything that you can't edit. So now I have two doors. Now to change the swings, just like any door, you'd go to plan. And I'm going to put this swing out. So it's what we've done, essentially, is created a double door with a mullion in the center of our division. 
Now, if you didn't notice, when you do put a door into a curtain wall, the door is just going to fill up the void that the panel left. So if I started arbitrarily deleting things, unpinning them and deleting them, um, the door is just going to keep expanding. And you probably don't want that. If you do need a door to be controlled more, you would need to create a wall such as the exterior glazing and actually control your your individual mullion lines. So it's the same way you have to unpin them. We can tell this to be three foot. It'll shift over three foot. I could take that top mullion line and tell it I need it to be eight foot. So basically I'm creating an eight foot by three foot door and go to that panel. The panels are not pinned in glazing, just the mullion grids or the curtain wall grids. So I can just put in a curtain wall single glass. So that's a three foot by six foot door. A whole lot simpler than how you have to do it in a storefront, which is select each mullion, delete it out. It's going to ruin the properties of the wall and it's going to become useless in a lot of cases. So you could even say, just so you know, if I went to curtain wall one and said that I wanted to put a door, um, it's not going to let me. I can only change curtain wall one with doors. So it's not like you can make a gigantic goofy door. So the only ones that would accept doors straight out are the exterior glazing and the storefront. So I hope this clears up a lot of issues with not only walls, but with putting doors into curtain walls. If you have any questions or comments, please go to artdesignlabs.com right here where the blue man. Um, I look forward to hearing any questions from the forum, any comments on the video. If you have a video you'd like us to create, um, please get back to us. Um, there's really nothing that we don't know in Revit 2009 or 2010. So I look forward to hearing everybody. Thank you for your time and have a great afternoon or night.